Hello everyone, my name is Michael from Polygon Island, and today I have an Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, and this is just going to be a basic uh, material applying, um, material creation, texturing kind of tutorial, um, because it can be a little bit confusing in Unreal Engine. If you're coming from Blender to Unreal Engine, um, it's pretty much the same process, just under different names. So if you are coming from Blender to Unreal Engine trying to texture or apply material to something, it will be pretty easy once you understand exactly where to go. Um, so first thing we're going to do is we're just going to create a new project. Um, you can click any of these really depending on what you want to make. Um, I'm just going to open a third person project because it's just kind of the base. Um, you can change the project name. I'm going to name this uh, Material Tutorial. Real. Um, and then uh, you can choose where you want your project location to be. Um, but once all that is good, um, just Blueprint, uh, Desktop, Quality Preset Maximum, with Starter Content, Checked, and then click Create. Um, this will start creating your project. It shouldn't take too long. Um, it, Unreal Engine 5 is pretty fast with loading your projects and levels compared to Unreal Engine 4, I've noticed. Um, but um, it'll close out. It'll open this little window. Um, it'll start initializing. You can see the percentage down at the bottom left. Um, and once it gets to 100, your project will be open. So we're just going to wait here for all this to kind of initialize and load up. So once Unreal Engine gets done doing its thing, you can see it's opened up this third person template or whatever template you've chosen. Um, we're going to disregard this for now. What we're going to do is we're just going to go up to File and then New Level. Um, and we're just going to go with Basic um, and I'm going to click Create. And this will open up a new level. Um, Unreal Engine might lag until you click into the viewport um, and everything kind of loads in. Um, but uh, navigation around Unreal Engine, if you've never used this before in your life, um, then it's just, you hold your right mouse button, WASD, you can go, you can, it's just a free fly mode. Um, you can use your mouse scroll wheel up and down to change the camera speed. You can also go up here um, to this little camera icon and change this. Um, this um, is W, E, and R um, for select, uh, rotate, and scale. Select is W, rotate is E, and then scale is R. Um, if you need to find something in your scene, for example, if we go way far out over here um, and we need to find something, if we just click the floor in our hierarchy and we hit F, it'll just lock our camera back to that. So that's just a few camera controls before we get into this. I'm just going to click on our floor right here and I'm going to click delete. We can also go over here to the um, little hierarchy and delete it as, from here as well. Um, and next thing we're going to do is we're going to go up here to this little add button up here. Um, and then we can just go to basic or shapes and add a cube. We can just drag that cube in here somewhere to where it's kind of right in the middle of our scene where we want it to be, just like that. Um, we can also hit R to go into scale mode and just grab the um, full block down here and just scale it up some just so our cube is a little bit brighter. And now once we have this, what we need to do is we need to get our actual uh, materials. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to be using Quixel Bridge. Um, and in Unreal Engine 5, it automatically comes with it. Um, you should be signed into your Epic Games account, so everything should be free to download. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to right-click, um, and then we're going to add a new folder, and I'm just going to call this Materials. Materials. Um, we're going to use that folder later, but for now we're going to right-click, and we're going to add Quixel Content. Add Quixel Content. And this will load up Bridge. Um, it might take a few seconds. Um, but once Bridge is loaded up, what we can go ahead and do is we can, under Home, go to Surfaces. Um, and then we can just look through for some surfaces. So, um, I am probably going to uh, go with just some sort of ground texture on this cube. Um, and we can change the quality or whatever. I'm going to change it to high quality. Um, and then we can go ahead and download this uh, material. So uh, when you download it, you'll notice that uh, Bridge starts downloading the texture, and this can take um, as little as a few seconds to a few minutes, depending on the model, the texture, how fast your internet is, and so on and so forth. This is a high-quality texture, and high-quality textures, especially when you get into the 4K and 8K ranges, they start taking up a lot of uh, space. So um, it might take a while to download if you're downloading a bunch of high resolution textures. I don't recommend, if you're actually using Unreal Engine for anything, to have anything more than a 4K texture, especially in a game um, that is nowhere near needed. Um, it'll just take up VRAM, make the game very laggy, and make the scene very laggy. Um, so unless it's just something very up close, stick to like 2K, 4K textures, that'll be fine. Um, so basically medium and low quality. Um, but once the, once it's downloaded, we can go ahead and click this blue add button. 
and that will add it to our scene if you see over here um, mega scans is under here um, also if you don't have um, this content browser um, you can hit control space and it'll bring it up and I just have it docked in layout um, but yeah if you don't have this content browser up and you have no idea how I have this at this point in the tutorial you can just hit control space and it'll bring it right up um, but now that we have that we can see that we have um, all of our textures right here and so what we can go ahead and do is we can go back into our content and then under our materials folder we can right click and create a new material and we're just gonna name this M underscore cube for now um, and so now once we have uh, this made, what we can go ahead and do is we can double click it to open it up in the actual material editor here. And then in our content browser, we're just going to go back to that uh, mega scan surface just so we have the textures right here. So if we click on them um, and then shift click to select all three of them and then just drag them in, you can see that they come in as nodes, um, kind of exactly like Blender does. Um, so you can see we have, um, we have three um, textures right here. Um, we have our base color, we have a normal map, and we have our roughness texture. So, um, to how to hook these up, uh, so this is your uh, material output, basically, if you uh, use Blender, it's your material output node. Um, so first, uh, for texture sample, um, our base color, we are just going to put this into our base color of our cube. Um, and then for our normal map, we are going to put this into our normal. Um, we can see this little material preview up here is giving us... Um, a good preview of what this material is going to look like. Uh, I'm going to turn this to unlit for now just so it's not absolutely slowing down my PC. Um, and next for our roughness we can go ahead and then just hook the RGB into the roughness. Um, and I'm going to change this back to lit. And we can see we have our materials set up basically here. Um, and that's pretty much all you have to do um, for this. Um, what we can also do is if we want to do in any case um, combine a material and paste it what we can do is replace this node with if we right click and then type make material attributes node we can see that we basically get this entire node again and what we can do is we can just duplicate these textures or not duplicate these textures but get another set of textures and connect them all to this and then under um, and on our actual uh, M cube output we can go down and then we can select use material attributes and that will show us that we can connect this and also if we connect just all these back up to this material attribute right here we should see that our texture is back so you can do these both ways um, this is for if you wanted to combine uh, materials together um, and yeah um, you would need a um, And if you're um, using this, and uh, pretty much the only time this would be used is if you're doing something with like terrains, and in that case, you would need a terrain layer blend for landscape layer blend. Yeah, landscape layer blend. Um, and then you would just connect um, all these together um, once you have different attributes over here and all that. That would go into here. Um, and then this would go into our cube. But for now, we are just going to delete these. Um, I'm going to click on our uh, material. I'm going to uncheck use material attributes so that way our nodes reconnect. And our texture or material is just right here. So once we have that, we can go ahead and click save. And that will save the material. And then what we can go ahead and do is click apply. Um, that might already have applied if you saved it. Um, but once we have that, if we go back into our content and our materials, you can see that we have our material cube. So if we just drag this onto the cube right here, we can see that it uh, applies our material to the cube. Um, so what you can also do um, is create a material instance, so that way you can apply this material um, into different objects and stuff and adjust it without actually messing with the master material so if you want to create a material instance on something and just apply it to a bunch of objects we can right click on our material and create material instance and i'm just going to name this mi underscore cube um, and then we can grab this and we can just put this here and so that way um, any adjustments you make in this material instance here um, it has a parent or light mass settings anything over here 
um, that you adjust will only be adjusted in this material instance and it won't affect your actual master material um, so yeah that's pretty much it um, you can see our textures applied um, if your texture looks wonky or it's not correctly set or anything um, then you probably have not UV unwrapped your model you're probably using a model that you've imported in the Unreal Engine in that case you need to make sure it's UV unwrapped and all that um, so one thing we can do um, if you notice on whatever object your uh, material is applied on it's too big it's too small anything like that we can go back into our master material and what we can go ahead and do is add a texture coordinate node we can add a texture coordinate node and then we can go ahead and add a constant um, and then we can change this constant we can right click and convert it to a parameter I'm just gonna call this tiling and I'm going to set the default value to just something like 0.5 and next what we can do is we can right click and type in multiply and add a multiply node uh, just connect the co texture coordinate up and then connect the tiling up and then put the uh, multiply into the UVs of all of these texture samples so just like this and you can see our texture starts to tile um, and if I change this to something like 2 we can see it starts to tile more 5 it gets smaller and smaller but we just put this at like 0.5 and we click save and wait for that to do its thing um, we should be able to see um, that this is now tiling some so if I make this a little bit more extreme on the tiling I change it to something like 10 and I save it we can see that the tiling now shows in full effect here on the cube um, so that's how to tile your texture if it's uh, too stretched out too big anything like that um, But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and change this back down to 0.5 now um, But yeah, that's uh, pretty much how you um, apply materials and set up materials in Unreal Engine um, If you guys enjoyed the video if you guys learned something and if you guys keep wanting me to make Unreal Engine tutorials Then make sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel it really helps me out Anyways, my name is Michael from Polygon Island, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.